Welcome back. So I'm still building on top of version 017, but if you can't wait for that, then go and get 018 and you'll actually get the code that we're going to look at this lesson. Um, so uh, let's have a look here. What I want to do now is actually when I do the sign in, I want to make a small snacky snack bar in the bottom. So when I do sign in, I want this to pop up right here. You are locked in, you can press OK. That's what I want to implement. One more thing I want to do is I'm pretty annoyed that I couldn't uh, press enter when I wanted to log in. So I had to write L builder one, two, three, and then I had to click down here. So now you can actually also, I added a form, so now you can also just press enter to actually uh, jump into the page. But let's start with the snack bar. To implement a snack bar, is, that's actually pretty simple inside the material setup. As you scroll down here in the material components, the snack bar is in the bottom. And there you can actually go in and see the basic snack bar in the overview. And it's pretty much just starting out by importing uh, the MD snack bar, which is the component that we need, going in and actually calling this command right here where you put in a message, an action, and then how much time you want it to show. And then you can do this. Just make a message pop up like this, where you can click this guy to hide it right away. Okay? So if I wrote OK here, that we're going to do, then it should just be able to click OK, and then you can hide it. So back to the code, let's see how we actually did this in our code. So I'm inside the login component TS file here. And the first thing I did is, as I said, import the MD snack bar. The next thing you have to do that I did not mention is actually you have to pull the snack bar into your um, component as a dependency injection. So what I'm doing here is I'm making a dependency injection with the MD snack bar uh, component here, and I call it login validation component. The last thing we need to do, look at here, it's also here where they pull in this snack bar into the constructor as a dependency injection. The last thing you need to do is use the snack bar to actually call open on it and then put in the name, the action and the message and then how much time you want. So that's the last thing we are doing. If the route is actually correct, then we go in and we put this, the login validation bar, which is this guy right here, the snack bar dot open and then you are locked in with an OK action and we keep it there for three seconds. That could be anything. So that's all I had to do. Those few lines of code actually gave me this very nice snack bar here that pops up when I put in the code and and locks in. That's all it took and it's nice and animation-ish. <laughs> we like that. So one more thing I need to do this lesson is I added, as I said, around our component, I added a form. Now that was around the MD card content and the MD card actions. I just wrapped that inside a form. And then the first thing you have to do is explain when I hit the submit of a form, every form in HTML has a submit. When you press the submit button, it'll trigger a submit of some kind. So this is how you actually make a submit inside a form and I of course pass my submit into the try login that we built in earlier lessons. So when I click the submit now I hit this try login and then I admit it to the outside that we talked about earlier. One more thing I had to do was I had to add to all the input fields I had to add a name and then call it something like this is the username input field, this is the password input field because also you'll get a warning inside the actual uh, uh, console. So that's why you have to add those. The last thing I had to do is uh, for each button to make it inside a form, I have to specify for each button what type it is. Is it just a plain button that you can click and nothing will happen except the click that you'll add later? Or is it actually the actual submit button that will trigger this submit that we built earlier uh, this lesson? So that's all I had to do to make the form actually able to just do an enter to click it. We also get validations in here now. We'll look at that later as well. But that's all I have for this lesson. See you next time where we'll have even more fun.